That's where I would see Kimberly Richardson joins us this evening. Kimberly. Well, Joe, one family member here at today's ceremony eloquently summed up the tremendous loss he feels, saying the days are a little less colorful without them, without their mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, nieces and nephews. 7,670 days ago. I said to myself, no, it can't be. Not my son. No, no, no. The bottoms dropped out of their worlds. It doesn't close the hole ever. When their loved ones were killed, trapped inside the Twin Towers. Calling hospitals, calling Channel 7. They were trying to look for him. During the deadliest terror attack ever here on U.S. soil. Nearly 3,000 people died that day, most here in lower Manhattan. On this, the 21st anniversary of the catastrophic event, loved ones gathered, hearing the names of each and every person who didn't come home. He was so quiet and private, and his death is, it's not, it's all over. Her brother, engineer Don DeFranco, he worked here at Channel 7, was manning the transmitter on the roof of the North Tower on 9-11. Today, Don's niece, Lori, took part in the ceremony. We love and we miss you, Uncle Don, and please continue to watch over our family. Lori cherishes the time she spent with Don, especially Thanksgiving. Him and I would like eat each other off each other's plates and always joke around at the table and make jokes. And he was a quiet soul, but you knew he would just have this big smile on his face. And I just remember those memories like it was yesterday. Anthony Perez was in the North Tower, worked for Kenner Fitzgerald. Shortly after the plane hit the building, his mom tells me Anthony was able to call and speak to his wife, told her that doors were locked and they couldn't get out. Anthony's final words, the 33-year-old father of three told his wife he loved her and made her promise to tell his parents the same thing. She said, hurry up, hang up, and get out of there. And then the phone went. Anthony's phone went blank. It stopped working. Maria tells me, like so many other families, her son's remains were never found.